The 2018 season was, was really good. It started out really well and we always keep it light-hearted. And honestly, I'd say the team's probably one of the most happiest teams on the circuit. The team dynamic definitely is one of the strengths. We uh, try to enjoy being here because if you're not enjoying it, then what's the point? You know, we, we understand that there's a job to do and you got to enjoy it at the same time, so. I don't know, we all just get along. I think that's the main thing where we all gel well and know each other's personalities and everyone fits in, you know, differently, so. Troy's, well, especially Troy's always been one of my idols growing up, so to be on a team with him is awesome and such a good vibe all the time and everyone helps everyone and it's the majority of an Aussie team, so it makes you feel right at home when you're at a race for sure. Ty's fitting the team great. Came into it a year after the rest of us, I guess you could say, and uh, jumped right in and gave him a hard time and he gives it back, so pretty good for a 16 or 17 year old. He tries to give it back. He's kind of learned just to accept it now. At the start, he really tried to banter back and it just, it never worked for him. Clean the poo that's in the shower. I think it's called the waffle stomp, isn't it? It's a bit of a mystery. Could have been the junior. I definitely wasn't me. I did see Lucas go in there. Did you just throw your mechanic under the bus? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh. <laughs> waffle stomping your fucking rotor. I still find it funny. I try and give it back, but it's never as good. They never really listen that much, so I don't know. Maybe one day I'll get them back and there'll be a new waffle stomper. <laughs> Coming into the year, I wanted a top five and maybe a podium if I could. So I was stoked first round in Croatia, got that out of the way with the third. It was amazing just to be there and be in the atmosphere. And then every round since, it's just kind of come a bit more normal and it's awesome to be hanging out with everyone. As far as the racing side of things, he's gone from like winning a World Cup to not qualifying and then getting back on the podium. So he's definitely got some, some good head strength, it seems. I was always going to focus on learning everything and becoming a I guess better racer from the experience that I can gain from guys like Troy and Mark and everyone but I definitely wouldn't have expected to be winning them and, and getting podiums pretty consistently so I'm beyond stoked with how it's, how it's ended up. Coming into Leo Gang I knew it was always going to be hard to stay hungry for that win. I was just having fun all week and it came down as a really, really, really tight race. So I definitely didn't expect to go back to back, but I was stuck I did. I definitely pushed really hard in the run and uh, made some pretty big mistakes and definitely didn't expect that when I came down, but so tight racing and I'm just shocked still. Troy's been an awesome teammate. Um, I didn't really know him that well before coming on this team last year. It worked well together. Like, we do most of the runs together. Don't always follow each other, but like go up in the lift and talk lines and... Yeah, Mark's a, he's a really genuine dude, super nice guy. He would do anything for you really. So um, apart from that, I love doing runs with him and sharing all the lines and, and everything. We can help each other out with is obviously gonna make each one of us better and go further and faster. So it's been a really good team relationship, I think. It worked, seemed to work well together and keep it fun so for everyone to be just getting along so well it's obviously keeping the vibe like really mint and just it's easy going Ballasol is probably the most difficult track to race it's like deep loam with roots that you can't always see and it feels like an accomplishment just to get down that one Happy. Yeah, I am. I'm stoked for six. I mean, I was sitting there kind of hoping for a podium, but uh, just wasn't quite fast enough this week. And, uh, you know, close builds confidence, so, and a bit of like, determination, so it's pretty exciting for next week. Yeah, I feel like just the whole year I've been getting more and more comfortable and just building every race, which is the case, so um, just try and, try and keep things on that path and yeah, get better every week. I was kind of excited that the season was starting to go how I'd envisioned it, and even though it I did just miss out, but it was kind of motivating and confidence inspiring at the same time. No can save you I really love going to Cranberries events. They're really relaxed and super chill, and I kind of get to be like a, a laid back Australian like I normally am. So, come on, what you got? Oh. Oh. I'm just out here riding my bike, just having some fun.
I don't really take them too seriously and just try and have fun and, and do whatever I want during the week and just leading up to the races, whatever happens, happens. So I'm super stoked with how Cranworks went and just kind of love going to them. Even if I wasn't winning them, I think I'd still just be over the moon just going there and having fun and riding the bike parks. I think my goal like every year is to podium each race and I know if I do that I'll be right up there for the overall title. So had a had a few good races in there. Something that I was really wanting was like to get first overall and it's a tough one. This this year has been really good with like having so many young riders come through and actually progress into podium spots. So I think the field's getting really hard to to actually get on the podium and making racing even better. Yeah, Mont saint -Anne was definitely a tough one. It was the night before the first practice day, I kind of got news that my grandfather passed away. So yeah, it was a tough one to, to kind of handle. With placing second on race day after such a hard week, it felt like winning anyway. So I, was, I knew that I was right on the pace and Luke and I was well above everyone else at that track. Honestly, I kind of felt like really free and, and loose and just relaxed at the top before that run. So. Um, I knew my, my granddad that just passed away was like just riding on my shoulder so it was a hard race, one of the, one of the hardest races I think I've ever done. Emotionally and stressful, everything, I was just uh, really had no energy and just somehow pulled through so he must have been right there with me. It's scary to think 2019's already like kind of Coming. No, I'm, I'm excited to have another year on the team and hopefully have another good year like this one. Maybe just a better second half of the season, but gonna miss these guys over the off season. I think I'll actually uh, go to Australia, hang out with Troy and Aaron, hopefully Kai. I think all in all, it's been a really good building year again and um, a few ups and downs and gonna miss the vibe and everyone, but you know, it'll be, make it even better when we come back to the first round next year. And 2019 is uh, it's gonna be a good one. I think it'll be good to hang out with everyone again. And yeah, just full motivation for 2019 and pretty excited to just do what I've been doing and just you know I've learned more stuff from this year and just put that on to next year and see what we can do.